Hey guys, Marcus here. Today I'm going to show you the ultimate cooling solution for your laptop. Introducing to you the O Polar. Increasing laptop cooling is really difficult. It's not like a desktop where you can swap up the heatsink and put a bigger heatsink in there or even change it to a water cooling solution. It doesn't work that way when it comes to a laptop. So you're thinking, what's Opolar going to do differently? Well, to simplify it, it's basically going to be a fan that you attach on the outside of your exhaust of your laptop. It increases the speed of the hot air coming out from it. So it uses a stock heat sink that your laptop already has, but just increases the airflow that's coming in and going out of your laptop. For me, installation is a walk in the park. All I have to do is install the adhesive mount at the bottom of my laptop. Take the correct exhaust shroud, then slide the LC06 onto the exhaust. Let me show you some comparison with the Opola laptop cooler or without the laptop cooler and you see for yourself at how effective this can be for you. The laptop I'll be using today is the ASUS GL752 series. Good laptop but the only flaw is poor cooling on the laptop. So underneath the laptop, there's only one intake vent located here and one exhaust vent located there. And so both CPU and GPU is sharing the same heat sink and this laptop only has one fan to take care of all the heat. So this laptop will be the perfect candidate to show how effective the Opolar LC06 cooling really is. First test here, it is running Prime95, which is a very CPU intensive program. And as you can see, the peak temperature is at 90 degrees Celsius. Now let's change it up and put the old Polar in. So with the old Polar running at maximum speed, as you can see, the temperature dropped by about five degrees Celsius here. So that's a pretty effective cooling. No test is going to be complete without in-game testing. So first game to show you is Battlefield 1. I picked the Amiens map specifically. The reason why is it's a very resource intensive map and sometimes CPU usage go up as high as 90 plus percent. Um, and you can see there now the temperature for the CPU is at 90 degrees Celsius. So every time it hits 90 degrees Celsius, the clock speed for the CPU do drop down. Um, the correct clock speed without thermal throttling is 3093 megahertz give or take around there and by the way if you notice the gpu temperature is at 83 degrees celsius that is also the thermal throttling limit and uh, any higher than that to see the clock speed do drop back the default clock speed for the gpu is 1189 megahertz Right now, I just activated the old Polar cooling system on the laptop. And the first thing I want to point your attention to is the GPU temperature. Notice it dropped almost immediately 4 degrees Celsius. And uh, from here onwards, you'll notice the GPU clock speed will slowly creep back up into the 1189 megahertz where it's supposed to be. And uh, if you can notice CPU temperature after about 5 minutes of gameplay, it dropped to 85 degrees Celsius. And the GPU temperature has uh, stabilized at 76 degrees Celsius giving it a good mm, 7 degrees Celsius uh, reduction in temperature there I'm running all these tests with a lower voltage to my CPU about negative 150 millivolts if you want to learn more about under voting you can check out this link right here so this is StarCraft 2 and uh, as you can see GPU temperature is 83 degrees Celsius so it's maxed out and my CPU temperature is about 85 degrees Celsius so my GPU clock speed has already been reduced by about 130 megahertz uh, because uh, GPU has reached its thermal throttling limits here and so it has to pull back the speed to keep it cooler. So I'm going to turn on the old Polar and you get to see what is it like with the cooling system activated. To so just turn on the old Polar here, you'll notice the temperature will start to drop immediately. Again, I'm running a maximum speed here and the GPU temperature drops, drops, drops and also the CPU temperature dropped to about 80, 81 degrees Celsius here. So yeah, overall, I can notice the GPU clock speed just went up almost immediately uh, to its default clock speed of 1189 megahertz here. So definitely give you more frame rates, smoother gaming and overall a pleasure to play with the old Polar gaming system. 
I like to use War of Warships to compare uh, when it comes to performance and heat here. The, the reason why is because the main screen, there's not a lot of changes here. Very consistent environment. And uh, as you can see on the left side here, it's about 90, sorry, 69 FPS. And on the right side of the screen here, you get to see 73 FPS. So with or without the cooler. And uh, yeah, basically you're looking at a 4 FPS difference here with only a little bit of a GPU reduction in speed there. This laptop cooler is the best I've used and uh, many other laptop coolers just cools the outside of your laptop but this here will get into the inside of your laptop and actually cool down your CPU and GPU effectively. The only thing I can think of to improve the old Polar LC06 is to make it quieter. I'm going to show you a clip where I turn it on and slowly went up to the maximum setting. Before I let you guys go, I just want to say I've been using the old Polar for four months now and it's been really effective. It increases the performance of my gaming here and also it kept my laptop cool with the CPU and GPU dropping to up to what, like 5 degrees Celsius on average? So that's pretty good. Overall, I rate this product a 4 out of 5 stars here. I took off one point because of the noise. You have the consistent fan noise going off in the background there. It gets pretty annoying. Um, and just yeah, if they can make the product quieter, definitely it's going to be a huge advantage. Uh, but for now, for effective laptop cooler, this is the best on the market right now that I've ever tried here. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, so I'll put it in the comments down below. Ask me more about this product here and I'll be more than happy to tell you my personal experience from it. Thank you.